little ukes. This is a series of daily ukulele lessons for kids ages four and up, and I'll be posting these every single day as long as we're all learning from home. I hope these music classes will be a great activity that you can do at home with your family and a way to brighten your days as well. Today we're going to be learning a new chord called C7. Let me come a little bit closer so we can check this out. If you've been following along with me, we've done a few songs using the C major chord. So if you look at the four strings of your ukulele, the one closest to the floor is called A, and that's where we've been gently squeezing the string down to achieve the C major chord. So if you count up to the third fret, one, two, three, this is where our C major chord is. I use my left hand to do the fretting, and then I use my thumb of my right hand to gently strum over the strings, a little bit above the sound hole. So we're gonna take the same idea, but we are going to slide our hand back to the first fret of that first string, the A string. This is easy to remember because you'll use your first finger on the first fret of the first string, and it sounds like this. Ooh, it sounds a little bit more spicy. The C major chord has a real kind of bright, sparkly quality to it, at least to my ear. And C7 has a little spiciness to it, a little bit of spice. Let's try playing that together a little bit. on this chord and see if you can copy them back to me. I'll be changing the rhythm of my strumming a little bit. Last one. Awesome job. So if you've already learned the C major chord, the C7 chord likely feels very comfortable for your hand because it's the same idea as C major that we've been playing, except we're going to be on a different fret. But same string, same finger. I have a practice recommendation for you guys and a really fun activity to do at home with this chord. There's a song called Lime of the Coconut, which is a super fun song. Believe it or not, it stays on that same C7 chord for the whole song. You can find recordings of this, many recordings on any streaming platform for music or on YouTube. So I recommend that you find a recording, turn it on, crank up the volume a little bit, find your C7 chord and just jam along with it. The way that I was doing different rhythms today, you could maybe try some different rhythms with your strumming. Really just express yourself and get into it, play along with that recording. That will be great practice for the C7 chord. We're working on C7 to prepare for some songs that actually have two chords where we're gonna be changing chords. So if you're working on this without even realizing it, you are preparing for so many songs that we're gonna be playing over the next few weeks. So have fun working on your spicy C7 chord. Have fun jamming with Lime and the Coconut, and I can't wait to see you soon to play some more songs together. Happy practicing.